to be totally off point or anything, but uh, to jump back to the fact that I'm working at, working on the uh, mock-up for Bertha Mark II, more or less, it's not actually going to be called that. This is going to be a giant ship that's like at least four times as big as what Bertha will be. But ba basically I used what Big Bertha's drive pods looked like, like the back end of Big Bertha, as one of four drive cores for this ship. <laughs> A.K.A. it gonna be big. Yeah. It's gonna be big and badass. And it's not, I don't think it's gonna be quite a square. Which, there's nothing wrong with that. It's just not as pretty. Uh, okay. Back to what I was doing. Suit energy. Got to drill the block off, and then I got to mine it. Oh, right. I need display. You need what? I need a display. Singular display. Gotcha. Okay. Is, that one's right there, so that's probably going to be the easiest to. So I need do. a small reactor. A small reactor? Mm hmm. Hmm. Small reactor. Probably need a gyroscope. Probably and a buttload okay. of thrusters. <laughs> Ain't that the way it goes? Mm-hmm. Um, let's see, how many reactors do you have running your welder ship? Um, one as a basic, two just because it was overloading a little bit when everything was going on at once. I mean, it, it worked fine, it's just, it was overloading. Okay. And then I have a third one just kind of stuck on the back that's actually facing out so that, you know, if the main system actually fully runs out of fuel and like you can't access the system, then you can toss a little fuel in there to get it back up. But I may have just figured out a genius way to rig my uh, my reactors. <laughs> oh. Because they have one, you know, they have one connector blocky thing. Mm -hmm. And you know how the uh, connect the conveyor systems have those small cubes. Mm -hmm. I have all the faces facing down. Mm -hmm. Onto those. Nice. So that automatically means... You're still going to run into the issue where you might not be able to access them, though. I will deal with it when I get there. <laughs> okay. That's a problem I will be willing to face later. Fair enough. Okay. Until then, I will uh, continue as normal. Works for me. Works for me too. <laughs> so, we're, we were going to do a large container for buffer, yeah? Uh, yeah. I think that's going to be best. Okay. That. Neat. Where are my conveyor pieces? They are hiding 
so I will go find them. Conveyor. I need. No, no sorter. What's that? Oh, let's go right here. Conveyor. Conveyor tube. And curved conveyor tube. Two. Doop doop doo. I want that and then. small steel tube and construction components is what I need for these. Alright. <sighs> I feel like we're actually kind of getting somewhere. I know, right? <laughs> Do you happen to have some computers? I do. I'm currently installing them on my ship, but once I finish with the... Uh... Okay. Um, I need actually three more computers. <laughs> I will rig some up real quick. And four metal grid. Uh, there's 15 metal grid in the refinery. Then I will or take no, some no, of those. I know the, what you mean. Yeah. In the thing. In the thing, my Bob. I thought I had enough computers, but I'm short just a little bit. Ooh, that's what I actually should do. What? I think I will do that, actually. What? I, I came up with a better design for my ship. Ah. Mid-construction. <laughs> that's kind of funny. That's how Mark II came along. Well, the start of Mark II. I was looking at the back, like, the back, like, engine compartment of Big Bertha. Because I was thinking about possibly redesigning style or how I could improve and such. Or where, right. I was, where I was going to go from there. Did, I thought I grabbed small steel tube. Oh, God. <sighs> Freaking girders. <laughs> and anyways, I, one style spawned out, out of looking at that. Then I, I was gonna I was going to bed because I I did that for an hour or two and then I went more or less went straight to bed. My brain came up with like three different variations off of that variation. <laughs> it's like, ooh, ooh. It's got me fun. We might, we might have to play on a creative world together too at some point, just to mess just around. Giggles and such. Yeah, see what we can come up with. Oh man, I bet we could go nuts. Right. Considering all the stuff we're coming up with just in, you know, survival mode. Yeah. Let's move to this side. Oh, come on. Yeah, more. 
more construction components. Okay, so at its core, this ship should be ready. I, I'm probably going to make it look nicer later on down the road. Okay. But at its core, it's func it should be functional if I just put some uranium in it. Right. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. And but now I'm going to go put them. Why? 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 Why not? Okay, I can build off you, but I can't build off a conveyor apparently. Interior plate to build a conveyor, not steel plate. <laughs> Luckily, I can get that rather easily. Oop, too high. Seems kind of contradictory, but whatever. What does? I, I'm in the assembler room or whatever on the big ship. I was like, in, "What is that? A cover or something on the floor? Like it actually looks pretty cool." And I got looked at, had the name pop up. It's the back end of the hangar doors. Hmm. <laughs> it's like, well then, <laughs> that's not what I thought it was at all. again. Uh, I need construction. That's what I needed. I keep forgetting and then remembering that I have coffee. It's kind of exciting. Bravo. Better than energy drinks, though. Okay, so the outside is up. Oh, a uh, funny thing happened this week. I'm at work, and, you know... And just because, like, I actually have a working vehicle and stuff, I end up being one of the main guys that runs delivery if I'm working a uh, noon or closed shift. But because of that, so I'm spending a lot more time at work, there are actually a couple of the managers were talking about uh, lowering 
my hours. Oh, really? This, uh, our system is bi-weekly, so every two weeks it, it just adds up the full total and then goes from there. Gotcha. I got 94 hours. Oh, geez. Yeah, 14 hours of overtime. That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> I can't wait to see this check. <laughs> no kidding. Jeez. Uh, d like, middle of summer, that's not uncommon. Like, most people worked. They showed me the little roster from last year. And the average, I think, was like 45 hours a week. There were a couple that were a little bit lower. But most were at least that if... We're between that and 55 hours a week. That's cool. <laughs> so, I have a feeling I'm going to make bank this summer. No kidding. Jeez. That's I mean, awesome. We are trying to hire more people so that, you know, kind of get a little bit of a rotation so everybody's not, like, losing their shit from stress. But Oh, come on. Can't hold it together? <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's yeah. see. There we are. Conveyor. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, you are built. Oh, excuse me. Just for looks, I'm going to do this. I love how there's the rock just like morphed through the conveyor ports and it's just like, I don't care. We're built into the side. Yeah. I'm assuming underneath each counter is a conveyor, more or less. So um, I haven't built all the plumbing in for it, but yes. There is a conveyor box. There should be a conveyor box underneath or behind each one. Okay. I just, I, I'm adding the conveyor to link into the input. Gotcha. Yeah, I mean, there should be some plumbing already in place. Yep. Yeah, there's a decent little chunk. I just wanted to make sure that is actually what I was attempting to connect into. Gotcha, yeah. Just no, I just I, I stopped working on it because we ran out of plate and such, and it went to production, so then I went over yep. to working on this and got distracted well the plumbing is from the one that's right like dead center split between the refineries in front of them that one is plumbed started anyways up to the input chunk all right so i i completely built all the plumbing like back underneath behind the rock so don't have to worry about trying to dig in there. That was a pain in the ass. I have a welder now. This is true. Um, wait a minute, wait a minute. Forgot the side thrusters. Nope. <laughs> As I was drifting sideways, I'm like, um, um, wait a minute. I feel like I'm missing something. <laughs> I, for some reason, I always forget those. Yeah, it happens. Okay, so. Um, 
Um, I need shot thrusters. Shot thrusters. Shot thrusters. What do you need those for? Go sideways. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Suitable argument. Yeah. I guess I'll allow it. So I'm kind of semi building them into a wall, so to speak. It's not what do you mean? Like the how the refineries are two by two. Mm -hmm. The back, like, in between, there's one block in between them, so it looks kind of like the front half of them is sticking out of the wall. Oh, okay. Just, I think it looks better. That's oh, fine by me. Uh, so. I don't care. Can no, I? right. Guess I need to get some steel plate loaded up in this. That would probably be a good idea. the big connectors are finicky they only like rotating on the face you're pointing at yeah no they're they're a little touch and go but of course you are still offloading <laughs> really oh that's right it's i don't have the connector on my ship no your ship no your ship's offloaded it's my ship what well it's because it's whenever the refinery gets up to you know it has a spot It'll mm -hmm. offload, yeah. but because the refineries are working at max capacity right now, it's con you know it's only whenever a spot opens up in them. Gotcha. That it will offload material. Hence why I won't buffer. <laughs> Cause that's. Well, a connector system will only understand that. I mean, I could probably buffer it into a cargo box, but we don't really have a much of a cargo box as it is. So. Yeah, that's true. Which actually reminds me, I forgot to include the uh, large cargo in the uh, semi plumbing that I did. So I I'll have to need add that in. Lots and lots of plate. Yay, plate! Um, 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 um. Hum -a -num -a -num -a. So, going to... so apparently only one side's accepting material right now, so I'll have to figure out why that is. I thought I connected both. Well, now it's accepting. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe it's because it's large quantities that I was yeah. trying to move. Could be. I don't know. Who knows? Oh, hello. Oh, screw that. I'm putting you there. Alright, eight. Boink. And you can go bye bye. And you can go bye bye. That's also because the, the whole wall thing that I'm doing is because I kind of want to hide the uh, plumbing a little bit, make it look a little better. Need more modus. Moda, moda, moda. Moda city. <laughs> what? Alright, I need to obviously add some more thrusters on the bottom of this. Fair enough. The drill. Because it just is slow on mm. the climb. Lock that uh, back. Continue offloading. Yep, it's definitely due to the chips connecting and disconnecting. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, that's fine. It's just you just gotta exit out of the screen and re-access. Gotcha. So, it's just the first time seeing it, all of a sudden there's no assemblers on this 
Chip is like, ah, uh, um. Okay, just a heads up, my uh, welder is going live. Okay. So don't, uh, ki don't, don't kill yourself. Where, where are you? Okay, you're over there. Yeah. I'm, I'm good. I'm avoiding that area for the moment. So what do you think? There is, I have plumbing. But there's one chunk where like 90% of the rock that it's building into is like, visually anyway, is blocking 90% of the tunnel. You think it'll affect the system at all? I hope not. I don't think it will because I don't think it's... I don't think it has that kind of programming in it. Yeah. But it's one of those things like, uh... Let me out. Come on. Okay, so now I just need to figure out what's left for this. Construction components. Which reminds me, I gotta go down here real quick. Uh, need a lot more construction components. Surprise, surprise. Yep. Let's see, large cargo is three by three. Uh, yeah. Okay. That's got a port on every side. Yes, it does. Beautiful. Then just stick you there. And then come over here. Put you there, and you there, and I need energy, energy, okay, um, where am I, Can do it. Here we go. Recharge. <laughs> well, my miner definitely has fuel. Yeah. 276 days. Oh, you're, you're good. <laughs> and that's with two reactors, I think. I don't remember. No, four reactors. So 276 days of fuel running full throttle. That's with the throttle running? Well, not with the throttle, like it's just idling right now, but that's with all four reactors going. Right, but once you power up, it'll drop. Oh, that it's powered up now. Cause I, I mean, like, if you push the thruster, oh, gotcha. that change, that'll yeah. change. Yeah. Okay, so that side's fixed. Okay, Eight. so I'm going to need to find a lot more construction commodes. Do you have, do you have those queued up in the construction thing? Mm, I don't remember if I put them back on or not. I will take a look. Alrighty. Yep. 
there are some construction components. Okay. And you're in a constant production of motors, apparently. Yeah, you can probably switch that back to... Uh... Yeehaw. Oh, Alright, so I just have it alternating steel plate and construction components right now. Okay. Since we're going to be needing a lot of both. Yeah. Wait, wait, what do you mean by alternating? Um, it makes one construction component, then one steel plate, then one construction component, then one steel plate. How do you do that? Um, when you have it set up on rec continue or whatever, uh -huh. circulate. You have times one, times one. Uh huh. And it just goes back and forth between them. Oh, sweet. Can you do so that? So you can queue up, you know, two to one or whatever kind of ratios you want. Sweet. Can you do that with more than th two or is it just. Oh, yeah, you could fill the whole inventory. So it'll go in like a whole chain. Like it'll, it'll do just... this, 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 this. Oh. I did not know this. Mm hmm. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. Steel tube. Lift your fat ass up. <laughs> the problem is, is like this ship is sitting in two, um, two G. Mm. It's heavy. <laughs> yeah. Which is why I need to add more thrusters on the bottom of it. Probably a good plan. Because it struggles to move to get up. Yeah. Yeah, so I'll have to figure out how I want to position those. I'm going to need a lot more than that. that. For another time, though. <laughs> However, probably need to start mining operations to fill up our platform. Probably. Soon. Once uh, we get a conveyor system hooked up, though. Yep. It's almost there. So basically, as soon as we get the uh, input side of it done, I said let's go for it because then I can finish working up on the routing to the assembler, and then we can stop start uh, dismantling red, big red. Right. And the nice thing is, the thing that I changed the design on is going to help with the removal of big red. Oh. Just just take a look at the back of my uh, unit. Which? My my welder. Um, where are you? You're on the other side there. I'm actually coming down your oh. way. Okay. Oh, your welders are on. Run away. <laughs> okay. There, I turned it back off. Okay. Oh. I put grinders on the back. That's a great idea with a camera so you can just flip around. Yep. Just gotta get used to those inverted controls then. Yeah, no, that's the big that's the big one. I wish there was a button where you could like invert the controls. I bet there probably is. Oh, yes, yeah, like, now that I think about it, it's like, hmm. Alright, so I'm gonna start welding over in this corner. Okay. So uh watch yourself. Fair enough. But if you stay over there, I'm over here, I don't think we'll have a problem. Don't think we will. Apparently, we're missing something other than uh, construction components. Oh, that's for me. I'm yeah, missing some small steel tubes. Oh, okay. So I'm putting construction components and steel plates into place then. All right. Whatever else is missing will have to get done by hand, I think. Yeah. Little bit faster. Come on. Okay. Um, I need steel plates. We're not 
gonna sit by the construction fund. Mm. Trying to finish up the input side of this so that we can start importing. So the refinery is ready to go. It doesn't fully have a routed export to the assembler down here yet, but. Anyway, so actually, what I might start doing, I think, is uh, I'll start mining. I think. Okay. Since we need to get those refineries online. Yeah. I didn't. Oh, I forgot to hook up a collector to that system. To oh, that's fine. For your ship. I should probably add a con a connector to mine, anyways. That's true. Get it into the twenty first <laughs> or the twenty fourth century or whatever the century we're in now. Yeah. Uh, yeah, man. Good times. <laughs> uh. We need a bunch of interior plate and hmm. Hmm. I'm not really sure where I'm gonna Set up more down thrusters, though. <laughs> Problem. Always makes things interesting, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. More got computers. Got more construction. To your... Fully built, yes. Believe so. Yes, you are. Cool. So that's good. You're all built. So let's just buffer. Need more construction component. So I got more construction. Oh, there's two different. Okay. So more construction component, more interior plates, and metal grid. And then buffer will be done. All right, what type of material should I focus on, you think? Mm. Actually, because this is our long range I'll go out back to the silicon and nickel. So that works, yeah, just keep mining that. Yeah, and then once your uh, ship has its connector taken care of, uh, then it can go, or you can, or then that, I guess <laughs> if you're working on the stuff, don't worry about that right now. Yeah. But your ship can then take care of a lot of iron. Yeah. Because, I mean, chances are I'm going to probably pick up some iron on this trip anyway, just because of the way that the rock is laid out probably gold gold on gold gold on our rock on our rock really uh-huh <laughs> i've been here the whole time well, I think what it is been here the whole time, but it's taken. It's had we we've, we've had to have some meteor showers uh, for to, to expose it, and it's a really small patch. And I have an ore detector, which your ship doesn't have. That's true. Does so we've probably just been missing it. So I'm gonna mine that out first. Sounds good. Because there's not much of it here. Like, I think I've already cleared out all the gold <laughs> in that patch anyway. And a bunch of interior. 
All right. Unless it's deeper. It could be. Who knows? What did I come here for? I came here for those. Give me. Thank you. And that. Anyway. After nickel and such. Alrighty. Oh, did we have any ammo that we wanted to have delivered there while I'm on my way there? Oh. Um, there might be some ammo in the assembly. I don't know. Uh, I should probably pick it up. If I'm gonna make a journey out there. Probably. So sixty forty five so hundred and five more. Hundred and five ammo? No. Uh oh. sorry. Uh hundred and five interior plate and then buffer's done. The okay. the one connector will be fully hooked up and you can dump ores into it. Sweet. 